I was in Miami, and in Miami, there's a street called 79th Street, right? So in 79th Street, that's where all the homeless people and the bases tech out, and sometimes like the criminals and shit like that, they just hang out, it's just like a hangout spot, and they basically like enjoy themselves. And then basically, I used to take bus that way to get to like to like um school because I had to catch two buses. So this was back when I was in middle school, 12 years old, things like that. But I already knew my routes. And then, so basically, I was going through 79. I got down um the plaza. The plaza's not there anymore, but there used to be a plaza. It had like tattoo shots, Foot Locker, a big Foot Locker. It had different type of stores. So basically, I got there to always get the second bus because like like four different buses I was passed there. And then I got down there. There was two people I was on the bus talking to. And they was like, oh, it's like that. I look at 79. It's like, oh, shit, crazy and shit like that. And I'm like, yeah, it'd it be like that, shit like that. And they said, oh, we got to get down the plaza. I said, me too. And they said, cool, you might be able to help us. And in my mind, I'm like, what the F are they talking about? Like, help me with something. I'm just 12 years old by this time. But I'm just like, oh, shit, I forgot. Hit my music. So sad. K -K -K. K -K -K. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. Yeah, so welcome back, guys. It's your man C to J to C. Yeah, I already know how I be straight from 305 Miami Dade County. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, comment, do all that good shit. The best story times in YouTube. I can't stress that enough. Check out my story time playlist and you see yourself. So yeah, they basically tell me like, oh yeah, like um, we going there too. I'm like, all right. And then basically, like, um, um, we got down the plaza. I was going to Foot Locker and I basically needed shoes. So basically, like, um, I was entering Foot Locker and they said, hold up, you going to Foot Locker, you going inside Foot Locker too? I'm like, yeah, I need to buy shoes, like, new shoes for school. I got the money, all right. They was like, oh, okay. They said, then maybe you can help us rob the place. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And they was like, yeah, we, we about to rob the place. They said, bro, they, these niggas said so calm, bro. Like, these niggas just like, we about to rob the place. Like, calm. Like, some people are like, Hey, we about to rob like, shit like that. These niggas said, "Oh, we about to rob the place." Like in a silent manner, like what the fuck? You have to think it's a joke. I'm like, yeah. I, I said, "Oh, okay." And then basically they said, "Yeah." So um, you hold the bag. They gave me a bag. They said, "We uh, and we basically gonna rob it. And we'll, we'll, we'll put all this shit in the bag." Like now they try to make me a, a accessory to robbery. I'm like, nah. Like I'm a good kid and shit like that. They're like just stay out. They said, "You cool, right?" Like the, the person we met on the bus. I'm like, niggas, I, in my head, I'm like, niggas, I just met you. I don't know you. Like, bro, like, I don't owe you shit. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm trying to get to school, buy me shoes, get to school. Niggas went inside the, <laughs> niggas went inside the store. They're like, hey, hey, everybody, stop what you're doing. Holy shit. I'm like outside holding the bag. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, bro, I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to stay cool. And basically, I'm like calm, cool, and collected. These niggas like, hey, give me all that shit. People feel like a trip. Like niggas like with shoes on, like putting their shoes down, ducking, females screaming, and shit was crazy. They said, give, give us the money on in the register. Niggas was just like tripping, tripping. And they basically like they like pointing gun, like hopping on the desks, like putting their the guns on. These niggas had AK for like illegal shit, bro. And I'm outside just holding the back, like, what the fuck is this? Like, bro, I'm just trying to buy shoes. Yeah. Then they basically start getting shoes, put uh, like putting shoes in there. They said, "Go put all, all that shit in the, in the in the bag outside with our partner." I said, "Partner, niggas, I don't even know your name, what the, bro?" And then basically, like from partner, so the Foot Locker got put in a hand. He looking at my face. Remember, these guy, these niggas already had masses before they got on. They ain't like uh, unless there's cameras out. Me, my face was bare, bro. Like, like, bro. And then I'm like, what the fuck is it? So basically, the Foot Locker guys basically putting shoes in my bag. They putting shoes, they, all the cash they had in the register. They put it back. They say, all right. They say, you better not um, 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 call the police. I said, we out. So we, <laughs> when they said we out, I'm like, okay. I said, we out where? They said, we about to rob the tattoo shop. Again, calm. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I just helped these niggas rob the foot locker store. And that's not, now you're about to rob a tattoo shop. What the tattoo shop? Yo, they said, that nigga did a uh, fucked up my tattoo. And he was showing me under his, like, his shirt. 
And then I saw the tattoo was like, all right, but you could tell, like, probably it was just, I said, when you got that tattoo, it said three years ago. I said, three years ago is when this business started. Like, these niggas, I mean, they probably, bro, if you ask for a new one, they probably said, like, bro, like, we ain't even got to do this. That's all I'm saying, all of this in my head. And then basically, like, niggas, like, yeah, they got their guns. They, they, they went to another store. I'm just following them all, holding the back. And then basically, they're they like, hey, hey, oh, y'all, yeah. They, they got inside a tattoo shop. Niggas, niggas and females getting tattoos. They want niggas to stop. Like, hey, we don't, we don't want any problems. Then a the tattoo digger, um, he came out the counter with, with a gun in his hand, too. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I don't want to die. Now these niggas got me accessory. Robin, bro, what the fuck is going on? I'm 12 years old. I am 12 years old. <laughs> so basically, these niggas like, hey, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. But the, uh, um, the, the tattoo uh, uh, part, uh, uh, owner, he basically holding a chopper at them. They point a gun. They said, uh, they said, nigga, and they grab his girl out there and they point the gun at his head. He said, if you don't want her to die, put your shit inside his back. And we all pop that outside. I'm like, I don't know these niggas, bro. And then basically, they like, they push it in the bag. They push it in the bag. And then basically, like, they put shit all in my bag. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then basically, uh, the nigga, the, 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 the tattoo owner still didn't want to put a gun. But he told all his uh, employees to put all the shits in the bag outside of me. So the next thing I know, these niggas have the standoff point at each other. I see cops coming. <laughs> Sirens coming, like, pulling up to a plaza. You know what I did, bro. <laughs> so I basically, when they, niggas were looking, I'm, like, tiptoeing back, right? I'm I tiptoe all the way back to Foot Locker. All the Foot Locker shots. I said, hey, hey, here's y'all cash. Like, get it fast. And she's like, and the Foot Locker guy was like, why are you doing this? I was like, I, said, I don't know these niggas, bro. I don't know these niggas. And then basically, like, they get their cash, they get money, shit like that. I basically threw out everything we took from a tattoo shop. These niggas still have a style. Don't see shit I'm doing. And basically, I threw, I, I came from Foot Locker, threw shit out the back, threw it down, and basically, I was out of there, bro. My my bus pulled out, pulled up, and at the right exact moment, I jumped in my bus, and my bus said, hey, and I said, hey, go, 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 and he's like, oh, he said, what, yeah, and he was out of there. Then, while I was leaving, my bus, like, going like this, cops pulling up, like, hey, and, oh, my goodness, bro. And that was the day, oh shit, I don't know what, I'm pretty sure those days, I don't know what happened. Like the next time I went to that plaza was a year later. I saw, and I looked, the tattoo sh shop was still there, uh, Foot Lock was still there. I don't know if they reckon our face, it was 365 days, bro, I don't know. But that was a fucked up day, bro. Shit was crazy. I don't know these niggas. I don't know these niggas, man. But that's the story time of the day, bro. It's your man, Cita JSC. Remember to like, subscribe and comment you can't just like and not comment and you can't comment and not subscribe so look do all three like subscribe and comment it's your man c to j to c man and i'm out be brief